Um, so yeah, wanted to cover types of motors, uh, blower and um, condenser fan motors. So understand the market that we're in. Um, what is our design CFM that we're working for a ton right now? Anybody know that? 350. There's a lot. 350. You get a Reese's. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So 350. So we're in a high humidity market in the south. So what we need to do is not only control the temperature, but also control the latent load, which is the humidity. So we're dropping our blower speeds down. Most of them come speed tap three. Um, we're dropping down to two, sometimes even one, depending on the tonnage size and application. Um, so I want to go over what the difference of PSC, ECM, and then variable speed. So PSC, what does PSC stand for? Other than Gil. Well, he's got to eat a lot of Reese's today. Anybody know? Evan, do you know? Go ahead. Permanent split capacitance. Ooh, you got a Reese's boy. Watch out for <laughs> So, permanent split capacitor. So, what does that mean in, in itself? The systems that we normally see it in on budget series, and then mostly any condenser fan. So, it requires a capacitor for start and run functions, has high voltage in capacitor, and then your low voltage connections are tied into the uh, motor speed tap. They're pretty dumb because it's low, medium, or high. Uh, when it comes to that high is traditionally always on the heat, but you always want to ensure when we're installing We're checking what those speed taps are So then we go into ECM motors So ECM and variable speed are essentially the same, uh, but they do um, Regulate airflow a little bit different So an industry standard or the name for ECM motors has just become the X13 the Gentech motors um, the, the ones that we use that for all the FJ swap outs. Those are X13 styles um, other than Gil and Evan, do you guys know what ECM stands for? It's a little bit harder for one. Electronic control module? Very close. I'll give you two thirds of a Reese's. <laughs> so, electronic commutating motor. So, ECM motors and variable speeds, these guys are designed uh, for constant torque. So, instead of having a capacitor externally, um, within the motor itself, but the modules will be a lot thicker. So what that does is that it has actual internal capacitance built in, <coughs> but it actually works off of a three-phase uh, system, and it reverses the plus and minus um, polarity to actually create that blower speed. So when it works off of the airflow, uh, off of the torque, this motor for variable speed can easily overcome static pressure issues. Um, if you have a lot more problems with duct work, you're not going to see it as much in two-stage or infinity systems um, unless the return is restricted. For sizing, ECM motor will actually decrease its CFM because it cannot, it doesn't know what that, how to overcome that pressure. <coughs> so ECM motors uh, and variable seeds use back EMF to determine the motor torque and adjust to load conditions. They can ramp up and down um, so efficiently they're a lot more efficient than PSC motors because a PSC motor is essentially like a single stage. It's 100% on, 100% off. Where these can regulate themselves up and down based on airflow. Variable speed, we see traditionally in two stage or in the infinity styles, the EL18s, EL23s. Um, so what those are gonna do is those are gonna rely on dip switches, board control, and controller thermostat uh, to properly set up. So you can actually control. So if you do have a restriction and, and when you do your airflow check on definitely um, the S40s with the EL18s um, and Infinity, you'll actually do a static pressure check and airflow check. And if it detects a problem, you can you know drop staging down, but that's gonna be your key indicator. We gotta get in the attic and inspect. Do we have enough returns? What's the airflow like? Where's our restriction happening? Because there's definitely a restriction there. And to piggyback off of that, so <coughs> horizontal because we had numerous issues of that always leaking. So if there's a return static problem, we <coughs> most likely have a leak problem. Um, one thing we're seeing with the newer Linux systems, uh, the two stage, the CB27s, um, they're having a, a board and I'll have uh, look, their speed taps on it. So let's say heat, cool, they're both coming at speed tap four. So we gotta adjust to that because if you have put in a two ton, in just a one room upstairs area, uh, that four airflow is gonna be ripping through that ducts. 
trust your senses when you're doing stuff. If it doesn't sound right, investigate. And it's really just as simple as moving that dip switch from four to two, and minute drops the airflow, corrects that issue. So in the essence, ECM is the most user-friendly variable speed. There's a little more programming to those, but they're gonna be your better friend to help overcome static pressure issues. Both of these will perform very similar. Uh, longevity is, a, you know, will be affected by static, so that's where the stress of the static is, uh, the, the testing. We don't wanna be replacing these motors, um, you know, 16 pin motor or the five pin um, communicating for Infinities or the EL series. They're not cheap. You know, these are out of warranty over $2,000 motors. So again, we wanna make sure we're looking after the homeowner, we're looking after ourselves, doing things ethically, so getting in those attics, checking it. And we don't have to fix it on site, but we offer the solutions. Because we're not, you know, we're not gonna do a full ductwork job afterwards, but we can say, hey, there are issues, and then have that conversation. Because um, that will preserve, you know, that $16,000 install that we put in there, just by saying, hey, this is what's going on, and it's, you know, we're not longer, why didn't you tell me? Um, so that's kind of the gist of what I have. Brayden, you got anything on that to add? I know, as you said, just <clears throat> pay attention, use your senses. Uh, biggest thing is your biggest friend is the manual. So open that sucker, <coughs> it'll tell you where to be. Because the other Linuxes that have just the little pins in it, it has a Y1, Y2 jumper on it. But if you look at the manual, it wants you to add a speed tap to that Y1 if you're actually in, able to two stage. So make sure you're looking through that, but manuals are your best friend. Question for him, maybe we start to get a little into the service side of things, but I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Any idea? Um, I mean, surely you guys have seen the calendar, uh, blower motor, condenser, fan motor. Any idea, any wild stabs on what kills motors? Blower motors is static pressure, excessive static. Um, so the motor's trying to overcompensate, especially the ECM. Um, they're trying to overcompensate and they work a lot harder. Condenser fan motor is usually airflow through uh, coil or uh, power problems. Um, one thing that was was interesting uh, in our in our training in Ohio um, was Jim Bergman's frustrations on blower motors dying. So oftentimes we're um, eager to blame the, <coughs> blame the manufacturer, um, and we certainly can blame the manufacturer. Um, in, in fact, Brian put out a podcast episode. Um, a manifesto of sorts uh, regarding man manufacturer responsibility. Um, you know, things are just made thinner, they're made cheaper, fan you know, things just don't last. We don't know that they don't last the way that they used to. But uh, those ECM motors, you know, um, blower motors inside of air handlers shouldn't be dying um, with the amount of uh, frequency that we're seeing them die at. Um, and so, you know, as a company, we're taking indoor air quality really, really seriously. Oftentimes we're upgrading an air handler with a media filter um, that is, I'm convinced, is a win, 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 win. Um, not only does it improve uh, the indoor air quality, it preserves, uh, you know, the life of the system couple different ways, um, keeps that coil clean, um, and then additionally with a, co a clean coil, um, we don't have anything uh, hopefully bypassing that filter, number one, and then number two, like we're filtering everything, getting through the coil just fine, um, and then also nothing sticking to the blower, uh, <clears throat> blower wheel. Jim said one of the things that takes out electronics the most is uh, dust. dust, is dust. These motors when there's uh, like a module failure, um, it, it, it's usually because the, the board got dusty. And so, um, you know, really making sure that we're taking time to educate our clients on the importance of changing out that filter. Um, Jim suggested taping filters off, that way there's no air bypass. Um, so especially with filter back return grills, um, it's such a simple solution. Um, but I just found it like painstakingly simple and genius. It's just taping it off like painters, uh, painters tape, just taping off that one inch uh, filter. That way we know that there's no bypass. Um, on our end, you know, making sure that the, that the duct, duct work is tight, making sure that it's sealed. 
um, that it's just uh, the air from the home passing over that filter, making its way to the coil, making its way to the blower motor. Um, and so again, you know, it, there's, it's not over amping, it's not straining um, to breathe. Um, and then again, we don't have filter bypass and getting dust uh, in, in, internally on that motor. So was, I, I just found it really interesting. Um, you know, again, we're really, really quick to blame the manufacturer. And yes, we, we ought to blame them. But there are also other things that we can certainly do in the field um, on our end. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.